Ready for insertion. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Solitan radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. Alright guys, welcome back to more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Is that how you say it? And I know it's... The bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice call. Oh shit. But it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like Alright, you bastards. To parry incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks Ooh. while your foe is on the offensive. I was gonna say this game so far is very impressive. Now the reviews are actually really, really positive with it. I'm gonna bring it. No, you don't. Oh shit. Now you the way you parry is actually you just face. Oh shit, was that even a parry? Did I even do that? We're good. Yeah! Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Really? That was an entire section? This game's broken into chapters, so. Alright. Oh, we're good. Head to the indicated waypoint. Apparently, I, I always pronounce it Konami, and I know that it's Konami. That's if, if that's how you really say it, I don't know. Please forgive me. Oh yeah, thanks for the likes and support on this series, man. First part, I'm not sure how it's doing. I hope it's doing pretty well. This is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town. 
then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. I remember when Metal Gear Solid came out on PlayStation. I It was just one of those games that I, I think I spent hours walking around with Snake and you can hide in like cardboard boxes. And then Campbell's blowing up your phone if you just sit there for too long. Or the, not really a phone, it's like an earpiece. And uh, I, my, my, my voice just cracked. 26 years of age, all right. in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them or approach from behind. I know that. I'm gonna jump on top. Wait for it, and... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Rated him for mature. All right, let's do this. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. I think I'm good. I actually don't mind fighting. So, I mean, I could be stealthy. But I actually kind of prefer the areas off limits. What the fuck? Can we just kill them? It'll be easier. Supposed to have driven them all away already. Here it goes! Gotcha, bitch! Oh, it's even got the noise! The huh? What was that noise? Jesus! And the alert, everything is... They, they, they keep a lot of the same... Oh, I'm gonna stay down here for a minute. There it goes! Oh, come on! Are you kidding? I'm getting my ass rocked! It's your ass, Mr. Postman! Did I just like... Holy shit. The reviews for this game pouring in. Looks like IGN and a lot of other... Like 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I'm actually really surprised. Usually when another company takes over a big series just for like one part. Usually does not have a happy ending. Uh oh. I never got a chance to play the demo of this game. Oh, are you kidding? Come here, bitch. He's gonna run in circles on your bitch ass. Yeah! <laughs> I had to. I'm actually kind of curious if I eventually go back and play any kind of Metal Gear game on my channel, which one would you like to see first? I think 2 would be a great follow-up since that was the first one that had Raiden. I, w I mean, I love the boss battles, Vamp, Fat Man, uh, the Vulcan Raven guy from the first one, I think that's his name. That was probably the most intense boss battle. Because you're walking around those crates and he has like the minigun. Or the Gatling gun. Oh yes! How is it bleeding? You know? Am I alone in this boat? I'm going fucking nuts right now. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm not sure, like, I, I just started this and Crisis 3 at the same time, and it, they're good, both right. apparently really now, short. Keep heading for refinery. Oh, shit, look at this. If you've played any Metal Gear game, you will know that they are extremely long. I mean, some cutscenes are like... You know, 20 minutes each. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, that's right. Really no sense of being stealthy. You, you already see me right there. Oh, shit. There's multiples. I saw the one up top, but where's... Where are they coming from? Oh, shit. Yeah, 
Hey man, get away. Yeah! There it is! There it goes! Man, I, that, I don't know, out of all the stuff I'm playing right now, this one is just probably the most action-packed. I haven't played a game like this in forever. Just walk around with a rocket launcher, really? There it goes! Destroyed, alright. Oh my god. I'm about to die. That's just what happens next. I got 10%. I'm running away from it. They're gonna chase me, it's fine. It really is. What? I'm gonna die, I know it. I'm gonna change my sub weapon. I'm good. Figured I have to fight these guys anyways. There's my energy. Yes! Back to 100%. Oh! I think of my my favorite Metal Gear game. I I loved Snake Eater. It really did bring a new element. Four was definitely fantastic since it was the first on PlayStation Three. Uh, that was the last like full one that they had. If they ever do five, you bet your ass I'm gonna be doing it. Oh, there it Oh, come on. I'll take that. Thank you. That's how you get your health back. I love it. Love it. Now we're good. We're good. Obviously, you need to go back up here. You need to go across. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, I, I think this game is definitely worthy of an 8 out of 10, just because the way it plays is so fluid. Like, a lot of games can't really pull that off. I'm not sure, I, I think I'm supposed to go through these doors right here. Yeah, I was about to say. Let me just touch this. Alright, here we go. Right and wait. We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Uh. From the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Well, that's just lovely. I try to make the first part of each series the longest just to kind of pull people in or push people away. That's kind of a weird way of doing it. Isn't it? Oh, I could almost make it. Could almost make it. My favorite villain, obviously... The boss battle you had with Liquid Snake was amazing in the first one. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. Say, okay then, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? I am here 
to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate!